Hjertelig øh, velkommen, og tak fordi I deltager på det her webinar, hvor vi øh, skal skille, stille skarp på, hvordan SuperOffice kan hjælpe dig med at få et 360 graders overblik over øh, kunder og interagere aktivt i Teams, uanset om I arbejder på øh, kontoret eller øh, sidder hjemmefra. Lige lidt kort om, hvem vi er, som sidder her på den anden ende af skærmen og har fornøjelsen af at være sammen med jer den her øh, formiddag. Jeg hedder Sæt Camilla og arbejder hos SuperOffice i vores Customer Experience Team, hvor min rolle er at hjælpe jer med bedre anvendelse af jeres SuperOffice og sparring i forhold til at udnytte funktionalitet og muligheder bedst muligt. Så har min norske CX-kollega Jeanette med mig i dag, og hendes præsentation den er tidligere blevet optaget, som jeg så sætter på. Hun snakker engelsk, og der vil så være danske undertekster på den. Jeanette, hun gennemgår også øh, selve dagens øh, agenda, øh, men jeg vil lige kort skitsere det, som øh, du kan glæde dig til. Så er det først et kort recap af de forbedringer, som vi har, øh, har gjort i SuperOffice generation 9, og hvordan de kan hjælpe dig med at arbejde endnu mere effektivt øh, remote, f.eks. med videomøder og samarbejde på tværs af Teams og med sammenspil med Office 365. Og det viser hun i en demo, og så kommer hun med tips og tricks til, øhm, øh, hvordan at øh, har bruge videomøder direkte i SuperOffice Kalender, arkivere vigtige e-mail korrespondancer for, øh, fra Outlook og dele interne projekter, øh, dokumenter hedder det jo, via et projekt, så øh, vigtig information ikke går tabt, øh, og hvordan du nemt via et udvalg jamen, kan se, øh, hvilke kunder der ligesom mangler at følge op på. Så selvom det er en, øh, en optagelse, som øh, jeg sætter på, jamen, så vil vi lokalt her i SuperOffice øh, Danmark gerne præge indholdet ved øh, selv at være til stede i dag. Og så har vi jo vores egen chat, hvor I kan stille spørgsmål til os personligt. Så når øh, Jeanette, hun nævner noget med, at øh, jamen, så kan I logge på øh, jeres Google-konto og øh, deltage i chatten der, jamen, så skal I blot se bort fra, øh, fra det, fordi vi afvikler vores egen lokale chat session. Så har du også spørgsmål undervejs til det, som øh, Jeanette hun kommer ind på, jamen, så still dem også endelig i chatten, og så tager vi dem øh, til sidst efter præsentationen. Så sidst men ikke mindst, jamen, så sidder min øh, dygtige kollega øh, Johannes i chatten, øh, som vil hjælpe jer med at svare på alle jeres gode spørgsmål til sidst efter præsentationen. Johannes han har taget vores øh, også dygtige øh, og gode kollega Kim med, som øh, også vil hjælpe i, øh, i chatten bagefter. Digitalisering af øh, arbejdsgangen, kan man vel sige, har vist sig vigtigere end nogensinde det sidste års tid. Øh, coronasituationen har tvunget mange til at arbejde hjemmefra og finde nye måder at dele information og samarbejde på. Så med det her webinar, jamen, der vil vi gerne inspirere jer til, hvordan SuperOffice som øh, CM-platform kan hjælpe din virksomhed med at skabe overblik over jeres øh, kunder og arbejde smart og effektivt, uanset om I sidder fysisk samlet på kontoret eller hver for sig hjemme ved køkkenbordet. Og på det her webinar, jamen der ser vi så også på, hvordan de nye funktion funktionaliteter i SuperOffice Generation 9 understøtter det her, man hvis kan kalde lidt the new normal, hvor at du kan arbejde øh, effektivt øh, sammen ved at bruge integrationer med Super Office CM, Office 365 og Google Workspace øh, kalendersynkronisering. Så dykker vi ned i, hvordan dagbogen i Super Office kan hjælpe dig med at få overblik over, hvem der er på kontoret og hvem der arbejder øh, hjemmefra, og hvordan du kan oprette en kalenderoversigt i øh, real time over de kollegaer, der er med i dit team. Så tager vi et kig på, hvordan øh, Hvorfor det netop er vigtigt øh, for samarbejdet at gemme e mail korrespondancer via øh, Outlook for SuperOffice-appen. Øh, hvordan et projekt kan bruges til at få overblik og samle interne dokumenter. Og hvordan du nemt kan redigere og gemme dokumenter online med øh, Office 365 og G Suite. Og øh, hvordan du direkte fra din dagbog i SuperOffice kan opsætte og arrangere videomøder med din kollegaer, samarbejdspartnere eller kunder. 
Så med den her introduktion, jamen, så vil jeg sætte øh, videooptagelsen på med Jeanette, og så vender vi tilbage efterfølgende med lidt øh, inspiration og øh, gode links, og så selvfølgelig svare spar på alle jeres gode spørgsmål øh, i chatten. Hi, and welcome to this uh, webinar. Today we're going to talk about how your CRM solution can help you get 360 degree overview of your customers, uh, collaborate effectively by using the Office 365 integration, and adjust the calendar to meet the new way of working uh, with video calls and meetings, regardless if you're working from the office or your kitchen table at home. We're going to use approximately 30 minutes today, and we will start by taking a glance back at 2020 and our most important releases in SuperOffice with Generation 9. Uh, and we will also see how many of these functions have been very useful when we're facing what we call the new normal with uh, video meetings and online collaboration. So today we will show you some examples of how you can use SuperOffice to work more effectively in Teams or remotely. Um, with a focus on the Office 365 integration. And parts of this will also be shown directly in the SuperOffice demo to give some examples on how to use, implement and improve how we can collaborate and be more productive while continuing to deliver great customer experiences. And finally, we end the webinar uh, with some tips and information on how you can get started. Uh, and if you have any questions, we will stay behind to answer those in the chat for about 10 minutes after we end the presentation. My name is Jeanette, uh, and I will be your host today. Uh, I work as a customer experience operative in our CX team, and our goal is to help you to get the most out of your CRM solution by showing tips and tricks and new opportunities and processes. And as I mentioned, you can send us questions in the chat if you log in with your Google account. Uh, but of course, you're welcome to send us an email or contact your contact person in SuperOffice directly as well. And we send out a follow-up email after the webinar, which you can respond to as well. Uh, and here you'll find some more information and useful articles uh, and a link to the webcast if you miss parts of it or you want to share with um, some of your colleagues, for example. Uh, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell to be notified when we're live or publish a new video. So let's talk uh, a little about the new normal. That's a phrase that was used uh, a lot last year and uh, 2020 was a year that brought about major changes for many uh, and especially the way we work and the need to communicate and interact digitally has become greater both internally in the company but also towards our customers. And we've seen how our workday has uh, less or fewer physical meetings, uh, maybe even more customer inquiries Uh, or it might not be possible to go and ask a colleague for help or an update, which again makes for new challenges or tasks uh, and maybe less control. And we've seen how uh, digitalization has, more, has been more important than ever. And today we will show how, you, um, how SuperOffice helps to reduce the distance and help you work efficiently, organize the team in a good way and gather information uh, in one place, which everyone has access to. And this is basically the core of CRM, uh, but with some small adjustments. And with the focus on the core of SuperOffice, the new generation, or G9 as we call it, includes many improvements to the user interface and the usability. And the software is also regularly updated with new features and improvements. Uh, and there are probably many of you who have seen previous webinars or articles about the generation 9 and the features we released from June up until now. Uh, but we will take a short summary for those of you who have not seen the latest about the G9 concept. So today we will show some of the most important functions that uh, were released uh, and also some that are in pilot and uh, just around the corner. So when we released our first release, which was 9.1 in June last year, we started with the interface. And with an updated color palette and sharper images, bigger area to work, Uh, and a more accessible navigation, this new simplified design will help you focus on what's most important and also take immediate actions on the CRM information that's available. We also made some changes to the side panel um, so you can see even more information in a single screen with a new uh, side panel that replaced the mini card. Uh, for example, here you can see the contact options now give you a lot more information 
Um, besides the person's contact details, you also see the most recent activities connected through them, um, such as service requests, sales, follow-ups and projects, giving you an instant overview in one place without having to navigate between different screens. And one of the most exciting developments here is the new feature that will give you an instant preview of any data line that is highlighted in your archives panel. So this is especially helpful when you're searching for a specific document, meaning you can preview emails or contracts and other uh, important things directly in the side panel when it's highlighted. And also new to SuperOffice is that in all archives, you can now filter your list easily and organize the information in columns the way you want it to be displayed. Um, and this way you can organize the information in groups to get a better overview. And you can also manage the information according to your work processes. We can also organize the information uh, a little bit similar in mobile CRM too. And this is the new and an updated version for Pocket CRM for those of you who are uh, on version 9 uh, with updated colors and some new uh, changes to the interface. And here you will also have the possibility to change what you want to see on the contact card. Maybe you want to remove fields and information which is not important to get a good overview while you're out of the office. And also, if you have Office 365 connected, you can also edit your documents on the go directly from the app. And continuing with Office tools, uh, with a new add-in, you can work effortlessly and efficiently between Outlook and SuperOffice CRM. And this new Zero Footprint Outlook add-in for um, those of you who are on Office 365 uh, will offer a fully integrated solution that requires no installation on your computer and you don't have to worry about the updates. And this happens automatically, meaning no more mailing and installation and updating this. And for example, when you receive an email, you will also instantly see key information, such as contact details and the latest sales, activities linked to the person you're viewing. And what you get is an instant overview of all relevant information, allowing you to offer more personalized responses and communication. And then came release uh, 9.2, uh, late last year with long-awaited redesign that made search experience more intuitive and with more opportunities to find and organize information. So now the find uh, and selections feature has become one process instead of two. And you can either use a predefined search, which can be customized and changed to exactly what you're looking for, or you can start from scratch. You have a larger workspace than before to sort and filter with the ability to review the results at the end of each search. And in addition, we added the OR function where you can combine several criteria. And finally, you only need to save the selections that you want to save. Uh, so you're neither the one who decides whether you want to save the search for later use as in a selection or to start again with a different search. And after it's saved, then you have the opportunity to use the new filters and the groupings and preview information in the side panel. Uh, and even the customized fixed columns and views for all users. And then we have this coming very soon. Uh, the video calls and meetings have become a big part of the new way we work and communicate. So this function will make it much easier to arrange meetings directly from SuperOffice. And after the administrator in your company configures this for your preferred video service like Jitsi Meet or Google Meet or Microsoft Teams, um, you easily can create activity in the diary and then send the invite as usual uh, via the SuperOffice inbox or Outlook. And it's also very easy to join a meeting from the side panel, uh, from the regular dialog box or from the browser notification if the alarm is set. And this is currently in Pilot and will be available for our online users very shortly. And all of the core functions and improvements to your CRM solution are what will help you become more productive and work more effectively in teams, even if you work remotely. And the idea is the same. We just have to tweak it a little bit as our day might look a little different in the diary and the way we work with our customers and internally. So let's take a look at some tips on how to work better and smarter with SuperOffice. And the first tip is to save important information. This is the, really the most important thing about using a CRM system. Uh, a 360 degree view of a customer is a collection of all your customer data in one place and from the basic contact information on customers to all their past and present interactions. And this will also include important documents, emails, and tasks. It's very important to save these and link to a contact or a company 
that way it can also be easy for you or someone in your team to go back and continue a sales process or a pending task or request from the last responsible person or key account manager. And this has always been important, especially if someone's sick or on vacation, but especially now when many of us actually are working remotely, it's not that easy to get those kinds of updates. Uh, and it's also easy to forget or think that it can be found in your inbox later on. Uh, well, we all know that's not a great solution. So the tip here is to remind everyone how important it is and what is expected, what kind of emails needs to be saved. Uh, remember to update calls, update documents and so on. And if you don't have a routine for this, it might be a, an idea to actually st get started on one and save it in SuperOffice so everyone has access. And this kind of routine or routine guide is also great to add to a project in SuperOffice. Many think that projects are for big projects with an end date or milestones, uh, but that's not all it's used for. It's a great place to collect and collaborate on specific tasks or ongoing documents, like the routine guide I just mentioned. And why not add all important internal documents like remote work policies, brand guides, routines, and best practices under one roof? Important information and presentation from your weekly meetings might also be uh, good to save to a project like this. Uh, and that way you have one shared space for the company or team, and you're not using time chatting or calling or sending emails to get the latest copy. And we always advise people to use the diary or the calendar in SuperOffice, especially because it has other important features than your Outlook or Google Calendar has. Uh, and everything you register here, tasks, meetings, phone calls, is also linked to a customer or a sale or a project. And that way you will build and add valuable data to the CRM solution, which is great to get that 360 degree overview. And you will also be able to search for specific activities easily from selections. But when working in teams or remotely, it's also good to have an overview of what people are working on and if they're working from home or the office. So by using the diary, you can also create new views and this can be done per team uh, or maybe a selection of colleagues you work closely with. Uh, and then it's also easier to plan and invite and communicate directly from the calendar in SuperOffice. Another tip using the diary is to start time blocking. Uh, I think many feel they are working more these days, uh, not necessarily more, but in a, it's easy to get caught up in the busy work with days chopped up by meetings, spending too much time in reactive mode, responding to emails and messages, and always being connected even after working hours. To avoid this and continue to be productive, it's a good idea to start time managing your day with time blocking, meaning each block is dedicated to accomplishing a specific task or group of tasks. So it's a good idea to schedule a time uh, to focus on one or similar tasks, like replying to emails to a certain time, or if you're more productive in the mornings, see if you can block off that time for focused high impact tasks instead of booking and attending meetings. So that way you will actually um, start each day with a concrete schedule that lays out what you will work on and when and not keeping an open-ended to-do list of things. Also, if you work in team or you work from home, it's good to remember to, to actually schedule some breaks and take some time for a water cooler chat with your colleagues to check in personally or share stories or ask how people are doing. So now that we covered the calendar reviews and the time blocking, it's also good to look at how you register and use the appointment types in the diary. Many customize these uh, when they implement SuperOffice, uh, but it might not have been updated since. So uh, now that many use video for meetings and switch between working from home and the office, it might also be good to add or adjust the appointment types. And that way you can add an all day event that shows um, if you're working from the office uh, or from home, or you can add video meetings to book and start your next Teams call directly from SuperOffice when that's available. Another important part of working and sharing information with colleagues in a seamless way is to connect SuperOffice with Office apps. When documents are saved as templates in SuperOffice and connected to Office 365 or Google Workspace, it's easy to open and work and edit the latest documents in real time, and it's always saved back to SuperOffice which makes it easy to find for everyone in the company. And in our app store, you will find many apps that you can connect to SuperOffice Online. 
And the integration to Office apps like Office 365 and Google Workspace are free and it's easy to install. And you can also use single sign-on to SuperOffice using your Office 365 account. And you can also use the web-based Office apps to edit and collaborate and store the SuperOffice documents from any computer. And also to open and view them um, directly in your mobile CRM, even if it's stored in your Office 365 cloud. And you also have the Outlook and Gmail add-in that lets you save important tasks and emails and gives you a good overview of all the interactions and activities with existing customers. And you can also create new contacts directly and update SuperOffice without switching between the applications. So now that we've talked about some of the new features and as well as some core features and how we can connect these with Office apps to work more effectively, let's take a look and see how we can apply some of these tips in a demo in SuperOffice. So we'll start this demo in the calendar view. So we will go to diary and then select a uh, day. And from here, we will get an overview of the date selected. We will also see our activities, tasks that are overdue uh, and our active sales. And then this is the day view. We also have the week, month, and we have the view. So if we look at the, the day first, can go back here and then I can select a uh, type. And then we see that this new preview, this side panel is showing us uh, all the details inside that specific task or appointment. And also it's easier if we go to the week to see how we can add those new appointment types like work from home. We can also add work from office and also we can add the new one, which is video meeting. So this I've already done. So if I go to new and then we can select appointment and then I've made some, a new group here so that you see which one I've added. And then we have one is for concentrated work, which is very good if you want to time block and schedule a certain time of the day doing um, concentrated work. And I'll show you that in a bit. And then also we have the video meeting, uh, which you can then book. And then also we have the work from home and work from office. Uh, it depends on what suits your needs. And then you can just adjust those in uh, SuperOffice. Remember, you have to have the admin rights to actually add these, but this is just for a little bit inspiration of what you can do uh, if you actually do work remotely. So a typical day might be to review the day um, and then start planning. So like you see here, I have work from home, uh, concentrated work. And then I also put like a time from eight to 11, I'll be busy. So I might be busy in the chat as well. So no one can reach me. Uh, and I don't want to take any calls during that time because I want to update a sales presentation. And then I just want to focus on that specifically. So let's add some things to Wednesday. Let's do let's say we're at the office this time. And then this will be an all day event. So this is just to show that I'm actually working from the office and then we can also add some new um, tasks or appointments over this. Let's say I also want to put concentrated work and then I want to say I want to have a calling day. From nine to 11. So this would also go on top of the, the typical work from office or work from home. So this way I can start time blocking my day and start planning ahead. And then we can go to the view. And from here, I will see uh, all the different user groups in SuperOffice, whether that's marketing, sales, it can be administration or those working uh, in consultancy or service. So from here, I can see the different ones and I can just switch between those views to look at certain days. Or I can go into a specific employee or colleague to look at the day 
So this might be hard if you're looking for several days or several people in your team. So that's why we can make a new view for our specific team or specific people that we work with. So we can go to task and then we can add new group view. And then we can say customer experience, which is my team. We can also select from associates or projects or a resource like a, a meeting room. So let's add Hannah, Henning and Thomas and me in this case, which is Christian. So now we have a different view and you can also see all the different people here. So now I'm in Hannah's diary, but if I go back to mine, you will see the views will change. So now we'll get a good overview of my team or the people that I usually work with or need to plan my day or week with. So now we can invite everyone in that team. Let's add a video meeting, a general description, an agenda. And this will be a weekly recap or team meeting. So we will also put this to repeats weekly, every Friday. At 2 p.m. And then save. So now everyone in that team will get an uh, invite. And also, if I go back to the week here, you can see that this also is here on Friday and it will be every repeating every Friday from now on. So it's easy to actually invite colleagues directly from this view. And the next thing to look at is the, the project we were talking about, how we can uh, collect certain documents, which is important for teams or processes or um, just collaboration in general. So we will go to a project where I've made um, a project for the sales team where we can add our um, internal docs, sales presentations, uh, weekly meetings, and so on. So everything is gathered here, so it's easy to find. And if I use this project a lot, I can actually save it as a favorite. So it's easy to find directly under my favorites here. And then we will actually start to work on that calling day, which I was uh, putting in my diary before. So let's go to a selection. And from here, we made a combination of two different selections, one of all our, cost, uh, our customers and the other one, which is um, certain activities uh, in the last quarter. So this will give us a list of customers to follow up, uh, which is important. And this is a part of our customer program. So from here, I can actually start working with this list. I can start grouping or filtering. Maybe I want to add more columns to actually see the information in this list. Or I can also just select a certain customer. And this will give me all the information right in this side panel. But if I want to add this as a calling list, I can just also switch the view here and add selection members so that I have this directly in the side view and can I actually work uh, in other cards in SuperOffice while I have this open. So um, I can also add and search different things in the columns here. And we can also select grouping and filtering here. So if I want, I can add category, for example, which is important. Let's say we want to um, call the A customers first, our biggest clients, our VIPs. And then I can just drag the category here and start focusing on customer A first. So no matter where I am, if I go back to the diary, I can always have this list here. So let's say I've taken a few calls. Uh, then it's also important to save the information, which we also talked about pr previously in the presentation. So I can just go to a specific customer. So from here, I can start updating directly on the customer. 
let's take another example where I call SuperOffice Norway. And this is a client of ours. And then I will just add a new call. So remember, in this case, I am Christian, uh, and then we need to uh, take over this case, which a colleague of mine has started, and we need to update a proposal and send it to her. So let's set that to done. And then we can just find the offer, the proposal that was written by my colleague, and this is here. Double click, and it will open directly in Word which is connected to our uh, web-based Office apps in Office 365. So it's easy to see what has been written, what's, what has been offered, uh, and then we can make the, the changes in that document. Let's make it easy. And that's all we want to change right now. And then this is automatically saved. If I want to uh, work with another uh, colleague, I can do so uh, real time. And then you will also see, uh, like all the office apps, uh, in real time, what changes are being done. So let's go back. And then we can just send this as an email. And then we will send an archive that one. And then let's say we got an email back from Jeanette confirming. So here we got an email from Jeanette, uh, which confirms the, the proposal or the offer. So in this case, we can save it to SuperOffice. We can uh, create an activity, a request. We can also create a sale or save it as an attachment. If I want to see an overview of this customer, I can also uh, go here and then you will see all the key information, the activities, the current sales and all the requests that have been sent in. So let's go back. Let's save it to SuperOffice. And then we can also fetch a sale. And then we archive this directly in so it's easy to find. And from here, I also want to create uh, an activity and a follow-up. And this is just a follow-up. And then select a date. And it will also take the, the text from the actual email. But in this case, just write follow-up. And then save. And then let's go back to SuperOffice. We can just update this one. And as we can see now, I have this information right here. So if I select this one, and we can change this to preview, I will get all the information directly in the preview panel here. So I don't actually need to open the email. And the same goes for the actual proposal, which I can also see directly in this uh, preview. So here we get the full overview of the customer, every document, every task. We also have the follow-up, which we will do uh, next week or two weeks from now. And it's also great for the customer because we can respond quickly and don't have to use time to actually find the document, uh, verify, update with the colleague. Everything's right here in this view. So to summarize, we've been looking at a recap and some of the new features of Generation 9. We have given you some tips to work more effectively, organize teams and collaborate by connecting Office 365 or Google Workspace. 
And all of this work will give you more valuable data and a good customer overview, which again creates better customer experiences. So what's next? Do you feel inspired to implement some of these tips in your new routine? Um, you're welcome to contact us, whether it's questions regarding Generation 9 or just getting started with the Office Apps integration. We also offer training for those who want to learn more and adjust lists like appointment types, which we looked at today, and more advanced admin tasks in SuperOffice. Uh, we also have consultants uh, who can help with bigger processes to help you work more effectively and get the most out of your solution. And after the webinar, we will send out an email to everyone who's attended today with some tips and a link to this webcast as well. Um, so don't hesitate to reply to that one if you want to get in touch with us. So that's it for today. We'll be here in the chat for about 10 more minutes for those of you who want to ask questions here. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and I hope to see you again at one of our scheduled webinars soon. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and videos. Have a great day. Nå, jeg håber, at øh, præsentationen fra Jeanette gav et godt indtryk af, hvordan SuperOffice kan bruges til at arbejde effektivt remote på tværs af Teams i din virksomhed. Og uanset om vi sidder og arbejder fysisk, om det er på kontoret eller, øh, eller hjemmefra. Jeg har lagt nogle øh, super gode links ind i det her slide til blandt andet Learn the Essentials, hvor der er guide til blandt andet, hvordan du kan øh, registrere aktiviteter i dagbogen, øh, overblik over dokumenter øh, og også connecte din øh, e-mail til SuperOffice. Men, øh, der er krydret lidt med nogle artikler og videoer til inspiration til, hvordan du kan holde styr på øh, kundeinformation i SuperOffice. Hvis I har behov for hjælp til at øh, arbejde videre med nogle af de her øh, tips og tricks, som øh, blev gennemgået, så ved jeg altså også, at min øh, dygtige og kloge kollega i konsulentafdelingen kan hjælpe, hvis der øh, er behov for det. Og det kan fx være hjælp til at øh, oprette nogle øh, bestemte kalenderaktivitetstyper, eller udarbejde sig nogle øh, standarddokumenter eller noget helt øh, tredje. Og der skal I bare tage fat i Johannes og hans e-mail, den stod på en af de første slides her i præsentationen. Og så har jeg lagt øh, nogle links ind til øh, G Suite integrationen og øh, Outlook for SuperOffice, som Sanette i sin præsentation snakkede om. Og de ligger nemlig i vores App Store og øh, kan gratis downloades. Og øh, til sidst så vil jeg bare lige nævne, at øh, I skal holde øje med jeres øh, mailindbakke. Som jeg også har nævnt tidligere, så vil min øh, søde kollega i marketing efterfølgende sende en mail ud med PowerPoint-præsentationen og optagelsen af webinaret her. Og øh, har du noget feedback til webinaret i dag, jamen, så vil vi også hjertens gerne høre fra dig, og det kan både gælde øh, ris, og gro, øh, ris og ros og øh, praktisk og øh, indholdsmæssigt og det hele. Og så må I meget gerne droppe mig en mail på den her, øh, på den her mailadresse. Og det var jo egentlig det, vi havde for, øh, for i dag. Så øh, vi stopper optagelsen øh, nu her.